Good health to everybody who listen me. Uh, I will talk on this lecture uh, about million bars integrals again. This object uh, which we discussed in previous my lecture uh, is very general and uh, it is it in, includes practically all uh, mathematical functions which uh, people use. Uh, in my previous lecture, I gave definition uh, this million bounds integrals and explained uh, why and how to uh, to work with them. Right now, I shortly uh, repeat these aspects and uh, present new one. So uh, these integrals uh, is defined uh, by the million bounds integral uh, when we have integration uh, by contour. Uh, for simplicity, uh, I took here vertical line, uh, which uh, parallel to uh, imaginary axis. And inside of this uh, integral, we have ratio of products, uh, gamma functions, uh, and here you see uh, linear combinations uh, with respect S and uh, here alpha K positive uh, symbolical maybe integer uh, if it is one for example uh, we come to uh, major G function uh, and here also positive uh, arbitrary no symbolical uh, values. I mentioned uh, such inequalities here. And uh, we have uh, restrictions that this should be positive uh, in sense uh, gamma function uh, from positive uh, value uh, does not have poles. And the same here. It should be uh, argument positive. Uh, if we take S uh, moving by vertical line. And uh, history of these integrals um, started uh, from work of Pincherly uh, and then Melin uh, and Barnes, uh, Melin introduced Melin transform, which is equivalent of Laplace, uh, of Melin trans, uh, Fourier transform. I mentioned about this in previous lecture. And Dixon Ferrar uh, also studied and uh, at last, um, uh, in 40 years, uh, Mayer introduced uh, Mayer G function. Uh, and in last year, uh, in last my lecture, uh, I uh, give a list of particular cases of this uh, function. Uh, it includes uh, more than uh, 100 uh, functions which has names uh, like elementary functions, arctan, logarithm, exponential, uh, or Bessel, uh, special functions like Bessel, uh, Chebyshev, uh, Gauss, and other one. And uh, unconvenience of definitions uh, functions uh, which 
was based on this Merlin Barnes integral and has names uh, Fox uh, and uh, Meyer G function is evidently, if you look on construction uh, gammas, uh, which uh, looks very similar to those which uh, Slater, no, uh, which was used for Merlin Barnes integral, we see a strange situation like here we have me terms, here we have continuation, uh, this set. And with uh, B zeta, like one minus B zeta, uh, it is some kind of craziness uh, and gives very inconvenience uh, in studying and practically uh, practical work with these functions. Uh, here I uh, shortly uh, demonstrated uh, situation. No, for example. Uh, if we take uh, this set uh, coefficients, we see a list and then continuation uh, the same list uh, here, but with minus. No, it's okay. But uh, if we look on parameter B, you see beginning uh, normal, looks normally, uh, and then one minus uh, B. Uh, and uh, I suggested uh, to return back to fundamental definition, which was uh, met in articles uh, of Dixon, Ferrari, uh, and this definition uh, includes uh, A, B, C, D. No, here I show only uh, uh, component uh, with uh, two uh, this uh, function, uh, two sets. So definition include A, B, B, C, D, and lens capital A, capital B, capital C, capital D, uh, and alpha, beta, gamma, delta, it is coefficients. And it is like the same like in Fox H, but produce a lot of uh, important, uh, more easy, the uh, usable details. Uh, believe me, because I have experience uh, with uh, something like started from um, 1970, I started to work with this function, uh, or before even. Uh, and uh, here we Mm, will get a more powerful set uh, of opportunities uh, if we make such definition at least uh, for uh, our uh, resource functions for repository uh, and um, I will talk uh, how this uh, definition uh, converted uh, allow to write uh, formulas in more easy visible uh, format. Before continuation talk, uh, I, I will mention that uh, Tigran Ishkanyan, who is working in Wolfram Research, and who implemented uh, this function, Fox H, uh, made talk about uh, function 
Fox H function. I shortly start his talk. Sorry. Uh, talking. Maybe. No, in any case, uh, I will not continue, but you can uh, listen his uh, report about Fox H function uh, using this link. Okay, let me return back to my file. Hmm. Okay, uh, I uh, gave name uh, this function Slater uh, H function uh, and similar function I called Slater G. It was uh, described in my uh, first book published in uh, 1978 and translated uh, five years later. Uh, here about this uh, notebook, about this book I talked at previous lecture, uh, and uh, uh, you already saw uh, this product uh, for Slater, G, and for me, G, we find this definition in our uh, documentation uh, in Mathematica. And again, uh, we see here this me, me plus one Q, and here we don't have such effect. And uh, uh, this effect, like one minus set parameters also absent. Um, in this, uh, talk, uh, I can mention that we have uh, conversions, uh, one function to other, for example, Slater H to Fox H uh, and back, and I show rules which allow to do this. Now, this is exact formulas, exact formula. And uh, here, uh, what happening with gammas, if we made uh, this set of changes. And uh, this uh, Fox and Slater H functions uh, have main characteristics. I mentioned in previous my talk, uh, uh, they looks like uh, this sums, uh, uh, which converts to such sums. And uh, it, it's important to have uh, restriction on argument. No, in Mathematica, we always uh, uh, argument, have argument be between minus pi and pi, including pi. Uh, but in theoretical literature, we see such type uh, uh, restrictions, uh, and we have can be written this restriction in form of uh, Slater. Alpha it is from uh, Dixon Ferrari. It has I have it in this notebook. Okay. Uh, below, I present sets of examples uh, for million barns uh, integrals. And as I mentioned in my previous talk, uh, we have about 100 plus uh, cases when we can convert uh, functions into uh, Meyer G form. Uh, here, uh, I used uh, resource function, but we have also uh, Meyer G reduce 
uh, which is rather broken uh, and weak function and should be replaced uh, by functionality from this uh, from this uh, new function. I will repeat evaluation on your eyes uh, and you see it's a loading package and takes time uh, loading um, package in a resource function. Let me show what we have. Uh -huh. Loading, loading. It's interesting. Oh, talks something. But in any case, you see, we have already uh, representations. Uh, and then we need to make uh, table form. It's try to make stable form. Oh, mate. Okay. So uh, we have function and then mirror G form. And uh, the same here, functions and so on. You already saw this um, operation in my previous talk. Then I can make a conditional expression goes to A. And we have only mayor G without conditions. Uh, and uh, similar variations uh, allow to make, for example, uh, in million bars representation. So each of these functions representable through uh, these million bars integrals. And uh, then we can convert uh, this into sums. Uh, no, this uh, here I show example how it works for logarithmic cases. Um, it's interesting to see something new in this area. Okay, uh, I used uh, Fox reduce. Again, we take uh, previous uh, functions. And additionally, meta Kleffler function uh, and uh, some others like uh, uh, Kummer function 1f1. And as a result, we get uh, Fox representation through Fox function. We can write uh, in such format also. Here I added a um, new construction, which is important uh, also in application to RIS potential. Uh, Basil K, it is a kernel of uh, so-called K transform, uh, Meyer transform. Uh, Basil G, it is kernel Hankel transform. So uh, basically, uh, no, for example, this one, it is kernel fractional integral transform. Uh, this function, which I called Slater uh, H function, uh, has uh, the following main characteristics. And why we have these characteristics uh, and how they influence on everything. Um, no, uh, inside of gamma functions, uh, we have, um, if we look asymptotical, on asymptotical aspects of these gamma functions, we find by uh, Stirling formula uh, component like Z in power Z exponential in power no exponential function from Z. Uh, no, in this case it is S from S, 
Uh, and also uh, power function like S in degree uh, eta, some kind. And uh, all these three guys are living inside exponent, exponent uh, uh, inside uh, of asymptotic expansions of this product. And these components can exist or can be in degree zero, like disappear. And also can be in degree negative or positive. And these values, uh, if they equal zero uh, or positive or negative, uh, provides regulation of behavior, uh, this uh, Mellin Barnes integrals and uh, Fox H Slater H functions. Um, you should not forget that inside of this uh, construction for concrete parameters A, B, C, D, and so on, uh, we have more than uh, 100 particular cases of very different kind. You know, for example, uh, we meet the exponential function. Uh, we meet the sinus, cosine, Bessel. Uh, it is some kind periodical uh, type functions. Uh, we meet the functions like uh, piecewise, uh, I show you kernel in uh, fractional derivative uh, or uh, in risk uh, transform. Uh, no, many different guys uh, uh, live in this uh, house by name uh, Slater H. Uh, okay. And uh, here um, I, I'm talking, started to talk about this um, more accurately. Uh, we can write um, exponential uh, expansions of each component. No, here, for example, uh, you see this expansion. Oh, sorry. I don't want to open something. Um, we, uh, we verified uh, this formula uh, here. Uh, and then uh, gamma function, uh, this is Stirling formula. Uh, and um, if we have a ratio of two gamma function, it is just uh, asymptotically exponent, uh, not an exponent, power, power, uh, S in degree difference, uh, if A equal B, it is one, uh, yes. But if we move at infinity in vertical or uh, 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 opposite direction uh, for real X and Y, uh, we have such behavior, this formula this formula and if we uh, accurate it is coming from uh, Stirling formula uh, and if we make expansions uh, we after some exercises uh, come to the formula which practically uh, useful but look at here we don't find component Z in degree Z. Instead, we find component uh, no, Y in degree IY, but is, it is um, a restricted component uh, if uh, we have real Y. Uh, and so, uh, as a result, uh, in vertical direction, uh, we have exponential term uh, or in main uh, symptotic expansion and uh, power term. 
term like uh, y in degree y absent. Uh, it makes very special moments uh, in using. But uh, if we have, uh, I applied this Stirling formulas uh, for each of these uh, gammas. Uh, and then uh, we have uh, opportunity to uh, build asymptotic uh, for gamma product. Uh, we substitute uh, for each uh, gamma main terms here, make such operations. make such operations, you know, for example, as a result, we come to very nice looking main term of this big, big product. We find in this uh, main term, Z in the uh, S in degree minus S with coefficient. Coefficient is this one. And also we find exponential term here, uh, something in degree minus S, and find uh, this uh, power term with corresponding uh, coefficients uh, uh, and if we uh, accurately combine this like I made in my first uh, book uh, mentioned before, uh, we can build a restriction for conversions of this, which allow to converge uh, this uh, million bonds uh, integral. No, right now I will go uh, to uh, convolution and Parseval equality uh, of million uh, for million transform. <clears throat> Here we have million transform uh, is. Uh, from integral, which is convolution for million transform. And uh, we have uh, result, as a result, million transform of each of these. It's easy und to understand if here we have, for example, five gamma functions. Here we have three gamma functions. Uh, not, not here, sorry. Uh, uh, not inside uh, here, but uh, this F1, it is a result of evaluation uh, million transform, million transform of each of these uh, F1 and F2 includes, for example, here, uh, five gamma function here, uh, three gamma functions together, we have eight gamma functions or something canceled a little. And then we know eight gamma functions, which is a result of Merlin transform of something. It means inverse of Merlin transform from this uh, result gives value of integral. Value of integral. And uh, here uh, I made. Uh, I show how to derive formula if we have uh, F1 and F2 uh, Slater H functions. I put a tilde on top of one of them, and this one you saw before. Then uh, I made these operations accurately, and uh, what we have we have the following. No, at first, uh,
integral from this uh, expression, uh, I evaluate accurately, and integral integral from this one also done. And at last, uh, where it is, sorry, I lost a little Merlin transform of this one. Example of using. Jack. Oh, sorry. Here. Jack. Um, In my notebook, I, ha I have to find formula. Um, no, uh, formula is uh, where it is. Maybe I understood what happened. It's technological uh, problem. Uh, uh, formula, big formula disappeared uh, during some manipulations. Um, but here I gave result uh, example uh, uh, evaluation of integral from product of two uh, functions um, if we have one function equal 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 this one other function this one Merlin transform of this, uh, it, it should be a formula here, where it is. Ah, no, okay, maybe here. Um, so we have integral from such product, but for concrete uh, values A and uh, beta and gamma. Uh, and Formula uh, should uh, include arbitrary beta and gamma. It disappeared. It should be stay here. It can happen by technological reason uh, because we made two white screen. Two white screen. No formula. Basically, uh, here you, you see this integral. It is uh, integral Merlin transform from one function multiply Merlin transform as a function, uh, and we have uh, result resulting formula. After my lecture, uh, we make reductions uh, of this uh, notebook. In in sense, uh, formula will return back. Okay, uh, one more example. Uh, we uh, know that if we have, uh, for example, uh, gamma functions, we can make inverse transform from gamma function uh, and get uh, original function. In this case, Fox H which can be converted into Meyer uh, Slater Slater uh, H function. Uh, I did not do this yet, uh, but here we have um, a representation. Representation uh, and uh, integral from one Fox H, Merlin transform from Fox H, it is uh, this uh, result because it's inversion from the previous integral. 
under corresponding conditions. I did not write uh, these conditions here, but below uh, they exist. Because um, as I mentioned, I uh, did not give completely verified and version, version of this uh, material. And here uh, you see uh, constructions for conditions. Um, I know that Danny is working uh, with this area and we uh, hope to have soon in Mathematica uh, realized this formula uh, and particular case for Slater for uh, Mayer G function. No, uh, Below, again, I afraid maybe we have problem here or not. Let me show. Do we have problem? No, for now I don't see problem. Так. So this integral. Uh, from Merlin, uh, from uh, it is inverse Merlin transform uh, from product of Merlin transform of each function, and here I accurately derived this formula, and we have a result. This guy equal to this. One. It is more generic function integral uh, from product of uh, Fox or Slater H functions can be represented uh, through Fox or Slater H. This formula in such format is new formula. And so, uh, as a new formula, which I demonstrate here, is uh, the following. No, we have, for example, Slater uh, H function. It means we have this uh, product. this product and we can do the following oh i see it looks like uh, no it's not my mistake but f1 okay f2 similar we can write a product, product uh, original or original function as this product and the rest. No, for example, we have here uh, something like five, not five, uh, 15, and here three multiply on five. It is 15. In such style, I divide it, and inside of this uh, group, we can take any, not only first uh, in order in gamma functions. So, a lot of representations uh, uh, in such uh, two factors. Yes, and each such representation, it is. Uh, can be written, it can be written as integral, integral, because here it is gammas which uh, for one function, gammas from for other function, we have together original function. And so 
we can make a lot of integral representations uh, for Slater H function. It's interesting to evaluate uh, Laplace transform and other integral transforms uh, using these ideas and technology. Uh, uh, okay. Here I should mention that we may talk uh, about compositional structure of classical integral transforms on conference half year ago. And here uh, we have example when we apply Laplace transform uh, to Slater H function. No, here it is generic formula, which you know uh, from previous generic formula here. Yes, it is huge, <laughs> but what to do? It's life. Huge formula. Monsters. So we have integral convolution type uh, from product of two Slater functions. And then again, result Slater H. If one function, it is uh, exponential, it means we have uh, Laplace transform from other function equal to something which uh, appeared from this one. And here we have examples uh, examples of this procedure i'm sorry uh, of course i should not make uh, so long lines uh, here uh, but we fixed uh, problem uh, to such style which looks uh, more bad, uh, worse than previous one it last moments. No, here uh, we can uh, see uh, formula formula for Laplace transform. It is uh, again no Fox H I wrote here. equal to this one. Laplace transform uh, of the Slater uh, function, it is this one. And at last, um, uh, we can tell about particular cases. Uh, cases of Mayer G function are the cases of Fox H and of Slater H, of course. And we have very specific case, which are very popular for differential equations, who studied differential equations. It is meta Kleffler function. If you see, for example, for situation one, zero, here, no, not here, uh, zero, uh, one, one. If you put one, one, you get exponential function from right sum. And uh, for this function, we have uh, transform million 
and Laplace transforms. And here I want to mention uh, effect connected with uh, this coefficient. How to convert Fox functions into mere G, not only for cases when we have everywhere one, one, and so on. Don't forget that we have multiplication formula for gamma function. If we have this product NZ, we can write like product with N, N factors, but here only Z. And something like coefficients appeared. So here we have such construction. And if we instead alpha write, for example, uh, two divided on three, then we can change uh, variable integration and get here two s, new s, different s. And here three s, here three s. Then we can, instead of this uh, 3s, write a product of gamma from s using above formula. Here also. And here only two, because coefficient two. So what we have, we have many gammas. Uh, six in numerator and two in denominator instead of this uh, no, three gammas. But each gamma here has coefficient plus or minus s. So this can be used for building Fox A uh, major G function, but how many will be? Three. So sum of three uh, mayor G functions. You can image if you write here something like 10 divided on 11. Here you get 11 uh, mayor functions from such. Uh, components. By this reason, uh, constructions through uh, Fox uh, more convenient uh, in applications, more compact in applications than uh, mere G constructions. I uh, here. I evaluated uh, example. You see, here, with respect to delta, we have Merlin transform of meta Kleffler multiply on this one. With respect by P, we have Laplace transform of this uh, function. And all this, it is uh, Fox function. And I present verification of such stuff. <clears throat> no, uh, here you see uh, formulas uh, which uh, allow which useful for deriving these uh, operations. Uh, question, how to evaluate uh, this Slater or uh, Fox H function?
they can be evaluated uh, by through uh, sum of residues in poles, corresponding poles. It is poles which you saw before. S equal to this for mm, function major. This is instead of uh, such construction, we have poles in point in these points. Then we can evaluate residues, but don't forget that we have coefficient alpha, k. The same we can do for as residues in right poles. And we make, we should make summation by all poles. It is left poles, right poles, infinite sum appeared. And technologically, it looks like this one. We should replace one uh, singular situation uh, value in, in two residues. It is poor formally, but we can do this absolutely accurately and with proofs and everything. But I show how formulas, big formulas appear. No, then we can try to manipulate with this uh, gammas, uh, convert to uh, pogamer, and other manipulations can be done um, successfully only for situations when we have uh, rational uh, values uh, for coefficients, as I mentioned before then it is convertible to hypergeometric PFQ functions. No, Meir G in such style uh, produce such representations. Generically, we have uh, Constructions like Slater construction, it is sum of left uh, residues in left poles and sum of residues in right poles. Zero, it is technological uh, aspect in Mathematica. No zero should be. No. Um, this formula I show in previous my lecture. Here I tried a placed material which is not done well, but it can be useful uh, because um, people started to ask about asymptotics. Uh, Fox H about other moments, and uh, I uh, uh, collected uh, information from my uh, previous research. No, for example, here uh, we have formulas like uh, this one representable through Fox H. I believe and tried uh, uh, such formula is not working in uh, current 
Oxage cases. Uh, this is for people who wants to go more deeper in this area. Main term asymptotics. Uh, main term. Mm, uh, no, for example, here. If you go to internet, you find article in Wolfram function site about uh, Mayer G. What what is happening? You see number. We have number for formula. And you can find this formula, but you cannot find this formula, this formula, and this formula. You cannot find because these formulas appeared later. We stopped to develop visible version uh, Wolfram function site uh, maybe 15 years ago, but I did not stop my own developing. And right now we have um partially implemented uh, but not completely implemented uh, advanced uh, more advanced versions uh, for Wolfram function site in Mathematica. And if somebody wants, uh, I can present uh, such type uh, additional, formulas we can place for Fox uh, not for Mayer G and so on uh, these formulas uh, and people uh, can use them uh, but now I attach uh, portion of my research uh, here uh, in report i think that next report i can devote uh, to fractional integral differentiation or other questions no for example um, integral transforms because everything is under development and i'm still I'm not machine to do so many formulas in spite that I made already a lot. And uh, I'm too busy with other projects. Uh, and of course, my uh, attention devoted to uh, this area uh, to make jump, huge jump in integrate and integral transforms directions. Uh, in mathematical system in Wolfram language. Uh, and also, I want to teach people how to operate with these uh, difficult objects uh, because uh, myself, I studied uh, 50 years ago, started to work, and it was not easy. Uh, to follow people uh, who did not care about teaching procedures for young people. Uh, many things I opened myself, uh, recreated, and will recreate uh, in this area. And uh, if somebody wants uh, to work, we have a lot what to do in this area. Uh, and all should go to computers. You see how difficult, uh, how horrible formulas are looking. Uh, and uh, no, for example, I have formulas for relation um, arbitrary indefinite integrals uh, from product uh, of 
uh, arbitrary rational functions in arbitrary degrees. Uh, but this needs in Lurcella function, uh, which we still don't have in Mathematica. And I hope we will have Lurcella D function. Uh, now we have only upper F1 function as first step in this direction. And I have many formulas in this area, which still not implemented to Mathematica. Thank you for attention. And uh, my lecture is uh, over. Questions? No questions? Thank you.